You know, one thing that we've talked about early on in the season is how the Jets have been good at adjustments. You know, they go into Very the half good. and Todd Bowles will do something. You're like, wow, I love how they adjusted. Here, maybe not so much. You look at from the other side, and you can talk to this about the defensive side of the ball. First half, I think they had knocked Brady down three times. They got in like three sacks. Second half, nothing. Yeah. No sacks at all. Brady threw the ball 54 times, uh, 34 completions, threw for 355, two TDs. Uh, two TDs, did not turn uh, the football over, had a quarterback rating of 94. What was the difference you saw out of the Jets defense from the first half to the second half? Well, I, I didn't see a terrible amount of change maybe on the defensive side, but you saw the pace of play with New England pick up and you saw him come out of the huddle a little quicker get lined up a little quicker uh, and he got the ball out a little quicker and, and you started seeing guys opening up because now the rush is tired they can't get to the quarterback and when you go three four five six times you're trying to rush the quarterback you're not even getting close that's hard and now he's sitting back there with, without much pressure with a lot of crossing routes and, and then he's just can you catch the ball and New England proved they couldn't catch the ball on a number of occasions. Like Coach said, if right. they caught everything they got thrown, this game's not even close. Cool. For, for me, though, you know, when we talked about Tom Brady, what's his best attribute? When he's in the pocket, he's an assassin with the football. You know, you go after him in, in the first half, and you, you get to him, force him off his spot. Good. They had a lot of drops. Again, in the second half on third and 17, you rush four guys. You rush four guys on defense. third and 17, and you leave David Harris to cover the slot guy yep. over the seam. That's what happened. Those are the kind of things that give me question marks where I'm saying, wait a second. Aren't we, don't we want to blitz this guy and force him to make a quick throw and then make the tackle? I think that was a crucial point in the game, Coach. I, I agree. And it was a big uh, mishap by the defense. I agree, Ray. You know, uh, Todd talked about in his interview, you know, that you want to keep things mixed against the Patriots, and I totally agree with that. And he was being a little cat and mouse. I want to see a little more cat, a little less mouse. <laughs> I mean, I'm just do. And because, you know, all of a sudden I see, I see Mo Wilkerson now was playing like a spy and he was dropping off and they were only rushing three a lot of the time. Almost had that pick that one time. He almost he, had a pick. He, he, yeah. That was the good one. Yeah. But they also ran right past him and completed one on him. I saw that several times. So there were some things. I liked some of the adjustments, but I don't think they took it a step far enough. I don't, not to beat this New England team. In my opinion, um, I felt, to be honest with you, that, that uh, the Jets got a little bit out coached today by the Patriots. I, I also, I, and, I, and to your point, I think they got a little timid. I think they got a little scared. and Because I, I, when, I, when I played for Belichick, when it was third and six or more, we would bring some sort of blitz, some sort of pressure, ups, uh, either strong side or weak side, depending on game plan. And it's like you said, it's third and 17. Bring the heat, okay, so they complete the pass for nine yards. Who cares? Make the tackle, and right. now it's fourth and whatever. And they didn't do that. I, I saw that as being a little timid and, and thinking we can cover these guys all day long, and it's proven that they couldn't. 